the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
superintendent of high school, the great supporter of Ferris Point High School, Ms. Maria Lowry. We're also very honored to have with us today Baltimore County Public School Superintendent Dr. S. Dallas Nance. If I did not take the take time to give a sincere thank you to Mr. Kevin Pizer and the Graduation Committee. <laughs> from Towson University, who helped us put together today's event. <laughs> and certainly the students sitting here in front of me would not be happy if I did not give a heartfelt thank you to the class of 2014 sponsors Ms. Kelly Carwacki and Mr. Eric Weber. And finally, the group of individuals who make me look good, day in and day out, that work countless hours to ensure that your students are successful. Faculty of Sparrows Point, would you please stand and be recognized? But I believe that there is one additional extraordinary thank you is owed to Dr. Nance and Mr. Parker for advocating and arranging to get us into this place. Pretty nice, huh? At the beginning of May, I had the pleasure of dining with Mr. Linger, Coach Emery, Class of 2014 graduate Kelsey Baumgarten, and Chris Berg, and their parents at the McCormick Unsung Hero event in Hunt Valley. We were blessed that night to be able to hear the story of a young man by the name of Kyle Maynard. Kyle was a quadriplegic who lost his arms and legs when he was in the womb from a disorder called congenital amputation. His speech throughout the night went on to tell many stories of inspiration and of the pinnacles that he had literally reached. He had wrestled in high school without having arms or legs. He played no snap on the football team. He was a power lifter. He started a CrossFit gym. He won an SD award in 2007 for the best athlete with a disability. He climbed to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, about 20,000 feet, with, with no use of any prosthesis. And has gone on to become a very powerful motivational speaker. Now you're probably thinking, okay, Mr. I know what you're saying is, is that no matter what your obstacles are, you can do great things. That's true. I do believe that. But right before he ended his presentation that night, he said something that has stuck in my head since. The more I thought about it, the more that I have felt compelled to share it with you, class of 2014 today. And he said, you all have the power to make an impact in this world that is unquantifiable. You don't have to hike to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro or accomplish miraculous feats to be great. Just take the time to reflect on the power that you all have inside of you and make a difference. I believe this to be true, especially in this class. Search your soul and harness that power that lives within you to make a positive impact in the world around you. I know one thing, I can't wait to see yours, class of 2014. Congratulations.